Hey guys, Benzo here. Welcome back to the channel. This is the very first patrol of 2022 and I can't wait to show you all the new features we have installed into our game to make this game a lot better and that is going to include the Forest of Chiliad. This thing is simply amazing. I can't wait to show you guys. And then we also have City Lights installed and I tell you, this thing brings a ton of immersion into your game and I can't wait to show you all the other features we have in today's video. Let's get it. Now I thought we'd do our first patrol out here in Plato Bay area because I want to show you the brand new Plato Bay Sheriff's Office. I'm going to take you inside in just a moment. Uh, we have a Weasel News van that is parked clearly in the handicapped spot. And uh, let's, let's, see, well, let's write him a parking ticket. This will be my first parking ticket of 2022, guys. Uh, let's talk to dispatch real fast. It's going to be 23-boy uh, Edward Adams 056. Target vehicle license plate. Two, three, boy, Edward, Adam, okay. zero, five, six, a traffic violation. Approach with caution. All right, we don't have to approach with caution. We can just create a, a ticket real fast. We'll go to prohibited zones and let's go to handicap, right? Handicap space zone, $500 ticket. And then we'll submit this. It'll be an actual parking ticket, which is nice. Uh, the, this is called uh, basic parking enforcement, if I'm not mistaken. Get this off my recommended plugins down below as always in every description of the videos that I make on YouTube, especially with the LSPD fire content. Now that is a legit parking ticket. It'll show up in the database, by the way. Let me show you the new Palato office, guys. So right here, this looks pretty normal right here. And then over to the right, uh, we do have like an interrogation room, if you will. They cannot see me through here. This is a one-way mirror. So we have two witnesses in here that someone's gonna come in and interrogate them. And then we have the front office. And then back over here, we do have a hallway. Uh, you can get some drinks right here if you want. You can actually buy a drink. Uh, this is one office. Pretty nice in here. Files, and you can sit down and do some paperwork if you need to. Back over here, we have another office. Right back over here. Very nice. Uh, I'm guessing they have some evidence on their desk that they intend to put in the evidence locker, which we'll go see in just a moment. Very cool. All right, so those are the two offices that we have. And then back over here, uh, we do have the interrogation room right here that they can actually go into. And these people here are waiting to be questioned. So they uh, that'll shut for privacy reasons. And then down here, we got some uh, different pictures and we have some mail slots for the deputies. Back over here, we have the armory and the actual, uh, basically, you know, evidence room, if you will. Right back here. So check this out. We've got uh, tons of money. We got some uh, weapons back over there. We got some uh, different drug paraphernalia and other types of drugs bundled together. This looks like, what is this, like a, a meth? lab type things right there. Some purses, and some iPods or whatever over there, I'm guessing. Now we had this station installed a long time ago, but I figured you guys probably maybe have forgotten about it. But I figured we'd start the new year right and install some really cool things into our game. Here's the cells back over here. It's very smoky. These people are smoking back here. These are active cells. You can actually put people in there. Nice. And there's another one right there. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, actually, let's go to the back. We have a deputy waiting for us. We do have a partner waiting. And we're going to go right back here. Uh, he's going to be on this side, I do believe. Right back here. There he is. Hey, deputy. We have a brand new deputy, guys. So the thing is, we don't have a name for him yet. So what we're going to do is do a random comment generator. And today's winner is Joseph Kuykendall. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right there, Joseph. So congratulations, you are my new deputy. So if you'd like to get featured in a future uh, upcoming video, like uh, to be my next deputy or a police officer or agent or you know whatever we're gonna do in the, in the future, uh, make sure you comment down below and I'll do a random comment generator. I greatly appreciate you making comments and liking today's video. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started out on patrol with this deputy right here. 
I'm gonna drive. Come on in, Deputy. Hey, Deputy Joseph. I'm probably gonna claim Deputy Joseph. It's easier to pronounce. All right, this uh, vehicle pack right here is by, I do believe it's by Emergency Distributors. Yeah, Emergency Distributors, if I'm not mistaken. And this thing turned out pretty cool. It's got uh, several uh, cars. We only have the Sheriff slot and the Sheriff 2 slot. But this is what it looks like on the inside. Pretty nice. All right, so uh, you wanna hit that button right there? Yeah, that one. There you go. Yep, you can hit it again if you want. Yep, there you go. And one more time. Very nice. Okay, and here's my new siren, guys. This is gonna be a Code 3 Z3 siren. Very nice. Keep hitting the button there, Deputy Joseph. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, you can stop. Okay, you can stop. Hey, don't push that button. Everybody can hear me talking outside right now. Don't push the button here. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Okay, stop. 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 Okay, you can stop, Joseph. Okay. All right. Here's the light pattern, guys. This is stage one, stage two, and stage three. Very nice. And we do have voice mod reinstalled, guys. That is voice mod. A lot of people love that thing. Uh, we had it uninstalled for a while because it was giving me some issues. But we have it reinstalled, guys. But if you do like the style of content, like I said, be sure to hit the like button and comment down below and subscribe if you're new. I upload uh, pretty regularly over here on YouTube. And I hope you guys enjoy this. Let's get started. Sam, what do you want? This is dispatch. Dispatch, show me 1041 tonight, please. Thank you for bringing in the 2022 New Year. All right, let's go to our patrol area, guys. All right, let's get out here, guys. Man, look at this forest. It is simply amazing. Oh, it looks like someone locked their, their keys in their car. Got a call from dispatch. Dispatch responding code one. 10 copy that. Sam, 81. Okay, it's going to be on Great Ocean Highway. Uh, looks like it's pretty far down the other way. We're going to respond code one. No reason to go code three. Uh, let's go ahead and flip a U-turn here. And then uh, we're going to head down this way. And we got a lot of new things installed. I can't wait to show you guys throughout the episode. Lots of little things. But look at this forest. It looks simply amazing. And then here's the city lights. You can kind of see them in action right now. It's going to get a lot better at night. Uh, these lights look simply amazing. And they are installed just like a DLC car pack, actually. But I'll be sure to link it down below. And I'll put it on my recommended plugins as well. But let's get down to Great Ocean Highway and see what this call's about. Okay, it's going to be over here to the left. I'm not sure why they didn't call the Parks Department, to be honest. But look at this forest. Uh, these are a mixture of trees. Looks like we got some redwoods, some cedars, things like that. Pretty nice. And uh, that's also installed just like a DLC car pack as well. And it looks like we are going to be on scene right over here to the right. Let's see a gentleman standing next to a car. Sam 81. This is dispatch. Dispatch, show me 23. Uh, we're going to be uh, just uh, southbound of US Route 1. We're going to be in the uh, Chile at Mount State Wild. Negative. Uh, me and uh, Deputy Joseph got this. Okay, another mod we have installed is called Door Control. Notice the door just stays open, just like that. Now you can also set it to where it only does that during traffic stops or felony stops. But I like to have full control of things, you know? I like to, to close it myself. Alright, I'm guessing this is probably the guy right here. Uh, let me look at his license plates real fast. I just want to confirm... This is him. You want to go talk to him? Hey, Deputy Joseph, yeah, go talk to him real fast. Dispatch requesting 28. It's going to be 41 Nora Zebra Queen 618. It's going to be a four door red sedan. 
Okay, let's see what this shows here. Target vehicle license plate. 41 Nora Zebra Queen 618. A traffic violation. Approach with caution. Okay, just expired registration. I'm not going to worry about that with him. Hey, sir. Hey, it's uh, Sergeant Benzo, Lane County Sheriff. So what's going on? You the one that called about your uh, key keys being locked in the car? He goes, yeah, I feel so dumb. Went for a walk, came back, and realized my I locked my keys in. All right, no problem. Uh, let me see if I can help you out, all right? I've never done this call, so let's see. What am oh, I doing? Man. Am I, am I trying to unlock the door? Oh, this is cool. I have no control over my character right now. I'm unlocking the car door. It, it probably would look cooler if I'm facing the other way, but... Alright, man. Should be good to go. He goes, thank you so much, officer. Hey, uh, before you leave, let me open the back door for no reason. Hold here. Uh, hey, I just wanted to get some information real fast, okay? I just feel more comfortable... Uh, real fast. Okay, thanks. Okay, do you have your ID on you? Let's see some ID, huh? All right, Man. thanks. This is Healy Loader. Okay, uh, stand by just one second. Okay, we're just doing an ID check, right? I mean, uh, you just locked the keys in the car. I want to confirm that you know you don't that this car's not stolen or something like that. Dispatch requesting twenty-seven for a Healy Loader, eight uh, twenty-eight seventy-eight. Okay, he's all good. All right, so he's borrowing the vehicle. Uh, let me see. I think I can ask him, actually ask him these questions. Uh, let's see, vehicle questions. Okay, is this your vehicle? Yeah, yeah, it's my first car. It's not much, but it runs. Okay. All right. Uh, it didn't come back stolen or anything like that. I'm just going to go ahead and let you go, okay? All right, you have a good day, all right? Stay out of trouble. All right, stay out of trouble. Why did he call me? Okay. That was the very first call of 2022. Pretty interesting. Uh, that is called County Callouts. It just got through being updated on the lsp4.com site. And I thought we'd give it a try. Uh, we've used that call callout pack in, in a while ago, but it was outdated. But he just got through updating it with the uh, new LSPD4 update. So let's get it, go ahead and get out there and see what we get into, guys. Okay, here's what the city lights look like at night. Looks pretty nice, right? Aggressive panhandling. Dispatch responding code 2. Okay, so we're going to be flipping around here. Someone is aggressively panhandling, which typically means, you know, asking for money, these kinds of things. But aggressively, panhandling is something completely different. Now we're going to wait for traffic to clear. We're going to bust a UE. Okay, they're going to be out here in Plato Bay. So we're going to go and talk to the witness first. Uh, see what's up with this. And uh, they're going to be right down here. But look at these city lights. They look really nice, huh? And it's not even fully dark yet. So I'm sure it's going to be about to get really nice in just a minute. Okay, we have a, a witness over here. I think they're over to the left. There they are. I think that's them right there. We're going to let a dispatcher know that we are on scene. And we're going to talk to that guy over there. See what's up with that. All right, let's get through this light. We have to merge a little bit. We're going to flip this way. Okay, so we're going to do this right here. Uh, let's just put our emergency flashers on. Actually, let's pull forward because my deputy, he won't be able to get out very good. Right there. There we go. Okay, let's go talk to the witness down here. Dispatch, show me 23. Pick up your drive. We're going to be uh, adjacent to Ron's gas station. Uh, negative, uh, me and Deputy Joseph, we got this. Uh, it's going to be aggressive panhandling. We're talking to a witness now, being flagged down. 
Hey, bud. Hey, it's uh, Sergeant Benzo. So, what's going on? He goes, hey, officer, this guy's been forcing people to give you money. Okay? Forcing, you mean like robbing? Uh, nah. Nah, he hasn't been doing that. But he won't leave people alone. He keeps asking for uh, money. Okay, has he threatened anybody? Nah, not that I heard. Okay, you know where he is now? Suspect last seen in Palato Bay. He goes, yeah, I think he's uh, back down that way. Okay. Oh, back down this way? Uh, northbound? Yeah, okay. Uh, what is your name? Do you have your ID on you? Wait. Just so I can, ID, huh? for our records, alright? Thanks. Kane Jefferson. Dispatch requesting 27 for a Kane Jefferson 3297. Let's make sure everything's good on Kane here. Yeah, he's good. Okay. All right, thanks a lot. Uh, you can, if you want to, you can go ahead and leave. All right. Stay out of you got, trouble. You have a, ri a ride or something? Crap. Okay. All right, so we have a uh, potential, you know, not really a suspect. I don't want to call him that. It's just a panhandler. Uh, he's asking for people's money. He's being kind of aggressive. But he won't, like, leave the area. He keeps asking over and over again for, you know, people's money. And so we're going to have me and Deputy Joseph uh, Kuykendall's are going to head over there. All right, so we're going to head, uh, I think it's going to be down there near the beach area, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to do a little bit of editing because it's a little bit of a drive, so kind of bear with me. Okay, now I think it's going to be, he's probably going to be a little bit more towards the beach area, is what I'm feeling. And so we're going to go over here. We're going to park back over here and we're gonna make contact right there and then another thing we can do too is yeah we'll just we'll spark right here that's that's fine now let's see if he's gonna be back over here let's see if he's over this ridge he said he was uh headed back this way and he might be like Surely he's not in the water. Let's see if he's actually on the beach or something. Back over here. I see a guy out there, but looks like he has a couple of dogs. Oh, you know what? That may be him right there. Yeah, back over there. Okay, let's get back in our vehicle. Yeah, that's him. Oh, no, there he is right there. I'm sorry. There he is. Okay, let's head on back down here. Yeah. Dispatch, be advised. Uh, we are going to be near the beach area near Procopio Drive. We're going to make contact with a potential panhandler. Looks like it's going to be a BMA black shirt. Uh, looks like possible blue jean shorts. Okay, let's uh, let's make contact. Sir? I'm trying to get it to him. There he is. Hey, sir. Hey, sir. Hi. Hey, it's uh, Sergeant Benzo. Hey, what are you doing, man? Hey, why are you running? Dispatch, we got eyes on the Dispatch, be advised. Uh, he's running from us. It's going to be an active 1070. It's going to be a BMA, black shirt, blue jean shorts. Uh, we're out near Procopio Promenade. Ah, oh, jeez. Requesting code 3 backup. Uh, I'm not sure why he's running. He's going to be on the beach area. Oh, my gosh, guys. Seriously. I can't get over that bridge because it's out. Okay, we have a unit that's coming in front of him. I don't want to have to call an air unit, but how's he running so fast, man? Let's put this away. Let's just 
haul some ass here. Man, it's so hard to run on the on sand. <laughs> How's he running so fast? Oh my goodness. Really? Am I going to have to call an air unit for this? This is stupid. Dispatch requesting air unit. Uh, this guy is super fast. He's going to be right there near the beach heading westbound. I can't reach him. Dispatch air unit over the ocean. I don't want to lose him. This is air support. We have him heading west. What is the deal with this guy? Dispatch requesting code 3 backup. Uh, we're going to be heading westbound near Procopio Promenade. He's running from us. He's heading up towards the forest. Assistance needed in, uh, hey, come on, Deputy Kai Kandal. <laughs> You're so slow. There he comes. Get him right there. Go get him. Requesting pursuit backup. He's getting the car. Dispatch, be advised he just stole a car. He just stole the car right from the deputy's nose. I want him fired. You dumbass. <laughs> oh my gosh. Requesting pursuit backup. He just went the other way. He went the other way. He's backing up right there in front of you guys. Oh my gosh. Dispatch, be advised. He got out of the vehicle. Now he's getting back in the vehicle. I feel like we're in Florida. Dispatch, help us. <laughs> What the hell, man? Oh, dispatch, be advised. He just went into the water. He went into the water. He's he is smir submerged in the water near Procopio Promenade. He's getting out. Right there. Oh my gosh, he's deputies. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, that car is toast. You dumbass. Requesting code 3 backup, please. Uh, Procopio Promenade, he's heading eastbound now. Backup required in Palato Bay. Okay, I'm gonna try to haul some ass here, I guess. He is fast. My health is getting low because I'm, 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 I'm like panting here, guys. What is going on with this guy? Oh man. I cannot reach him. They got him on spotlight. I could uh, cheat and so easily teleport to him, but oh my gosh. Go get him. Deputy, go get him. Okay, he's heading to back towards us now, thankfully. All right, I'm gonna rest just for a second. Oh my gosh. Oh man, where is Blaze when I need him? Hey, dog, you want to help us <laughs> get this guy? <laughs> Dispatch requesting code 3 backup. Uh, we need an extra pursuit to help here. Uh, he is going to be a BMA, black shirt, blue jean shorts. He's heading back towards Procopio Promenade, up towards the road. Assistance required in Palato Bay. This guy is slipperier than hell, man. This is actually embarrassing. Oh my gosh, am I going to edit this? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to even edit this out. But evidently my character cannot run worth a shit on sand. I can run pretty fast on yeah, smooth payment. I'm glad I got an air unit on him. This is embarrassing. If I can just rest just for a second. Oh my god. <sighs> Oh my gosh. Where's, uh, there's Deputy Kaikendal. I, I, we got the whole fleet after him. All right, let's see if we can get up this hill. He is, he's gotta be out here somewhere. Let's see if I can reach him now. Okay, now I can haul ass. Uh, hey, don't you steal my car, man. He's trying to steal my car now, you son of a bitch. Stop, man. Don't make Stop. Me lose this. I'm going to tackle a stupid ass. Oh, my gosh. 
up there on my face. Oh. Gosh, man, this guy. All right, I'm getting my car. Fuck this, I'm getting my car. I'm getting my car now. All right, come on. Come on, Deputy. Deputy Joseph. All right, let's go get this guy. I've never seen... This is the longest foot pursuit I've ever had in my entire life. In six years playing this mod. Exactly, for real. This guy is, like, super fast, man. Okay, I think someone got him down there. One of the deputies, I'm thinking. Okay, they got it. Nope, he's still going. This guy. Okay, I'm thinking femur deleter. That's what I'm feeling. Oh, good. Dispatch, be advised. We got taser deployed. Taser deployed. Oh, you little piece of shit. All the way down, man. I am out of breath. A highway patrol unit had to get him. Are you serious? You better have a good reason for running, man. A real good reason. All units, code four. No further units required. Oh my gosh, man. All right. Hey, what is your ID, man? Daniel Mac Makarov? Dispatch requesting 27 for a Daniel Makarov 2393. Suspended license. There better be something illegal on you. Okay, anything that's going to poke me, stick me, harm me in any way. Anything. Okay, you just done pissed off me. Piss, pissed off me? Yeah, that. <laughs> Piss me off, man. An extended magazine for a rifle? But you don't have a rifle. I didn't see you drop a rifle. A car stereo removal tool. Have you been stealing car stereos? Is that what it is? Gosh, man. Okay. Let's just get him back over here. You know what? Get on your knees, man. All right, kneel down. I got you covered. Okay, now I don't think I can question him anymore. But uh, every deputy in patrol, any you know, any highway patrol, everybody leave. Troopers, deputies, everybody just leave. Are you not gonna leave? Okay. Guess they want to stay and watch the fun. They want to see what I do next. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here, right, get on up here, man. Alright, I can ask you a few general questions real fast. Okay, why did you do that? Why are you trying to catch uh, catch me up on some fake shit? Fake shit? I was just going to ask you about panhandling. Okay? Okay, why did you run? Uh, to escape? Duh. <laughs> well, okay, that's A for honesty right there. Okay, I don't think I can actually question him with the call-outs. Uh, call-out, it technically has been done, but he ran from us. Jeez, man. You are fast as hell, okay? That's what I want to say to you right now, okay? First of all, you should apply for the NFL, okay? But I don't know if they'll hire you because you have a felony. Actually, never mind, because they actually hire felonies all the time. Anyway, okay, back to what I was saying. Uh, yeah, let's get you picked up. Actually, you know what? Let's do some charges first. All right, kneel down. We're going to do some charges for the first, uh, January 1st, 2022. Okay, I've been reading his rights real fast. So we're going to go through this. I, I can do this myself, obviously. But I'm curious to see. I've never clicked on this button right here. So you have the right and then read the rights. But which, uh, he goes, shit, for real? I ain't trying to go to jail. All right, so once again, uh, I'm going to say it one more time, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford that attorney... One will be appointed to you free of charge by the state of San Andreas. You have the right to have your lawyer present any time during questioning, okay? All right, do you understand your rights? As I read them to you? He goes, but, but I'm a cop. You ain't a cop. Okay, you are not a cop. Okay, it, you want to you wanna get another charge for, uh, you know, impersonating a police officer? Is that what you want? Okay, before we do the charges, there was some clear liquid found on his person. I'm going to see what that's about real fast. Uh, it's a narcotics fill test. We can do in the back of the vehicle real fast. A small bottle of clear liquid. Let's see what this is about. I'm just going to go with fentanyl. I feel lucky 
2022 guys first narcotics field test of the year and it is negative son of a bitch okay pcp he acts like uh, he's got to be a pcp guys he can run super fast right oh that would make sense okay lsd well he's hallucinating he thinks he's a cop it's gotta be lsd positive lsd that's what it is all right sir Dispatch, I'm okay. Uh, you can go ahead and cancel all checks. Ten four. Okay, so you're going to get charged with uh, LSD, uh, possession of LSD, that's a controlled substance, and also uh, evading arrest, okay? And then uh, the ammunition thing, I think that's a gray area here in Blaine County, so we're not going to worry about that too much, to be honest. But we're going to charge him with the following. So we're going to do create arrest report. We're going to go down to schedule... Uh, duplex schedule two, no, schedule one, possession of LSD, and then he also was resisting. Oh, son of a bitch, let's see here. Resisting nonviolence. Uh, I guess that's going to be it right there. Nonviolent, he didn't really hit anybody. It's a misdemeanor, are you serious? Oh man, I wish I could get him with more than that. How about using department resources so much. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Okay, we're going to add a short note here. Okay, there we go. We added a little note to our uh, charges, and we're going to submit these charges, and then we'll see what he gets at the end of today's episode. Uh, we could charge him with panhandling. Uh, that was something else I wanted to charge him with. I wonder if I could still do that. Uh, let me see if I can find it real fast. Okay, we have a lot of extra charges, which by the way, this is also uh, in my recommended plugins down below, right next to CompuLite. If you look for those, uh, those will be there as well. I was gonna charge him with loitering, but he wasn't near any business that I could find. I mean, he was by the beach, guys. And for some reason, panhandling was not on there. So we're not gonna even worry about that. Okay. Dispatch, we have one in custody. It's gonna be 115, it's gonna be the BMA uh, involved in that 1070. Oh, uh, boy. Sam, AD-1 is transport required. Affirmative. Uh, we're going to be just right near the water, uh, near US Route 1. And yeah, Plato Forest. Assistance required in Plato Bay. Okay, we do have a transport coming for him. And good riddance, man. But in all seriousness, he is fast as hell. I don't know how he was able to run so fast on the sand, and I can't. That's hacking, man. You're hacking. Those are hacks. He's using hacks. That's what it is. Okay, Joseph, let's go. Deputy Joseph, let's get in the car. Head out of here. Go to hell. Oh, my goodness, guys. And... You know, uh, this is, you know, me talking for real in game. I don't know if I'm even editing that out. If I edited it out, I apologize. Uh, that foot pursuit was the longest foot pursuit I've ever had in six years that I've been playing this game. Six years, guys. So if I edited some of that out, I apologize. I had to because the attention span of YouTubers are like a gnat. <laughs> Their attention span is like a gnat on YouTube. I'm the same way. I have little attention spans. But if I, I left it in, uh, let me know down below in the description, or the uh, comments rather, that you watched the entire foot pursuit. That'll be between me and you, and I'll see who the cool people are. Okay, we're gonna continue with our patrol, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, flip on our speed radar. That is speed radar lights. And I'll probably do some uh, tutorials to show you how you guys to, uh, how to install these things. And then also we're going to put, put on our ALPR readers. Those are license plate readers. They're at the very top of the vehicle. And we're going to be going down this way. I want to show you the city lights during the dark. They look amazing out here. All right there. He's going 71 in the habanero. Let's flip back around. We'll get him. He's going pretty fast too. That habanero is a graphite colored habanero. I will catch up to him. He's pretty far up here. Let's see if I can reach him. 
I think he just took a right. Oh, wait, hold on. We just got a stolen vehicle. That's actually better. It's going to be a Bobcat XL, bluish silver. He just passed us this stolen vehicle. We were about to go after a speeder. Decided to turn around. Uh, he's going to be a little further up. I'm going to take uh, the side road here, or the uh, shoulder of US Route 1. And he's going to be right up here. And I do believe he's going to be pulling this trailer. Okay, so a little pro tip here. Uh, if you try to get a license plate check from behind a, a, a vehicle that's, to that's uh, pulling a trailer, Sometimes you'll get the actual trailer uh, license plates instead of the actual truck. So we're going to initiate a traffic stop a little bit past this turn. Uh, we'll get past the actual tunnel. And these lights look really nice at night. But let's get past the tunnel here. Dispatch, show me code four. Uh, we're back 10-8. Uh, however, we're about to pull over stolen vehicle, possible stolen vehicle. Attention all units, code four, no additional officers needed. My bad. I didn't tell dispatch you were code four, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and pull him over. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get him pulled over. That's not going to do. Driver, pull to the right. A little more. Keep going. Okay, stop. Right there. Stop. Okay, so we're going to be uh, doing a, uh, I don't know if this is going to read the license plates of the trailer or the truck, so let's try. Same 81. This is dispatch. dispatch, show me a 95, uh, US Route 13. It's going to be a graphite color, uh, correction, a bluish silver colored bison, uh, correction, Bobcat XL. Requesting 28. It's going to be a Bobcat XL 64 Queen Frank Mary 600. It's going to be southbound US Route 13, occupied at one time. Target vehicle license plate 64 Queen Frank Mary 600. Yeah, baby. Impossible stolen vehicle. Approach with caution. Our first uh, stolen vehicle of 2022. Let's get it. Dispatch requesting code 3 backup. It's going to be a Bobcat XL stolen vehicle. 64 Queen Frank Mary 600. Southbound US Route 13 2209. Uh, going to get some code 3 assistance here. Felony stop. We're going to be code 5 in this. Uh, part to the rear of me and off to the left. Assistance required and not Gordo. Okay, we're going to be ordering the vehicle out by gunpoint. Or I should say the driver, rather. Hey, Deputy Joseph, just keep your weapon trained uh, to the driver, okay? Uh, passengers as well. I can't see over there if there's a passenger. I doubt there is, but just in case, all right? All right, I'm going to give some commands. Hey, deputies, just back me up, right? Uh, let's slow traffic down as well. Uh, let's go ahead and do, we'll do this right here. Attention all units. Officer requesting traffic control near Mount Gordo. Actually, you know what? Let's stop all traffic here. And yeah, let's do it here. Dispatch, stop traffic. Uh, we're going to be US Route 13. Uh, we're going to be mile marker 3. 
2211. We're going to be uh, performing a code 5 on this uh, Bobcat XL. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. Let's just get some commands here. Driver, turn off the engine. Driver with your right hand, open the car door, step out of the vehicle, face away from me with your hands up. Driver exit the vehicle. That's government property! Hands up. Stop what you're doing right now! Walk back towards my voice. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking and stop. Stop. Alright, alright. Put in your knees. Put your hands on your head and lock your fingers. Okay, we're gonna see this uh, deputy right here is gonna take him into custody. And Deputy Kaikendall, you stepped in front of my line of fire. <laughs> I think the uh, it's going to be clear. Yeah. Dispatch, be advised, uh, car's going to be clear. We got suspect detained. Okay, so let's go ahead and slow traffic down because I don't want them smashing into my officers here. Okay, sir, come back with me. We're going to step back over here. I want them, the deputies, to kind of get out of the way. So I'm not sure if they're going to... Actually, you know what? They can leave. Uh... Hey, deputies, thanks for uh, coming out. Y'all can go ahead and go. That way they're not blocking traffic, you know what I mean? All right. Uh, amigo. Enough of this. All right. Couple of questions, okay? Anything's going to poke me, stick me, harm me in any way, okay? Anything? All right, let me ask him about some searches here. Anything illegal on you I should know about? Maybe, maybe not. Depends on what you define as legal. All right, turn around. Got you down. All right. Oh my goodness! 3D printed Navy revolver, visible. Small baggie of tramadol. Okay. Actually, I meant to do this right here. Uh, hey, deputy, uh, can you go ahead and pat him down? That looks a bit better because he's the deputy. He's right out of school, you know, out of the academy right there. Okay, yeah, he did find the 3D printed Navy revolver and a pack of gum and a small baggie of tramadol. Okay, the tramadol is uh, it's going to be a Schedule 4, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's going to be a, a controlled substance. Okay, a couple of questions. All right, that vehicle, okay? Is that vehicle yours? He goes, yep. Just bought it. Isn't she pretty? All right, whose vehicle is this? I guess my brother's. No, it's not. Okay, you're where the uh, vehicle came back stolen, right? Yeah, stolen. No, I, I'm I'm going for a test drive with it. Uh, no, you're not. Okay, this vehicle belongs to Kate Johnson. Okay, you did not uh, get permission to take this vehicle. She reported it's stolen, right? All right, how's he? I mean, he's searching that car, right? Actually, I think I can question him about that, too. Uh, let's see here. Vehicle. Vehicle question. Uh, oh, I thought I can. Oh, wait. Oh, it's, it's under searches. That's right. Anything illegal in the vehicle I should know about? Now, you're going to search it anyway. Why don't you just uh, find out? Okay. We will. All right, let's see what's in here, guys. Small baggie of pills. Okay, I'm not sure if I could do a 
a field test on that, but I'm going to try. Hey, Deputy uh, Joseph, just keep an eye on him real fast. Close my door, and then I think we, we might be able to see what those pills are. I'm not sure. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not sure. Let me see if it shows up here. Uh, yeah, I can actually. Small baggy uh, pills. Uh, let's go with Molly's. Like MDMA. Uh, positive. Okay, so he's got ecstasy, basically. Which is, you know, ecstasy, MDMA, Molly's, same thing. Okay. That's what it has. So it's going to be ecstasy and tramadol and the 3D printed revolver. And I'm pretty sure those charges are going to show up as well. All right, get on up here. All right, amigo, follow me back this way. A key. All right, we're going to go right yeah, and let's see if he'll get in the back seat. We've been having a little bit of trouble with Stop the Ped lately. Sometimes they don't stay in the actual seat. I can't it. Let's see if he gets in there and see if he stays in there. Okay, he did it that time. Okay, nice. Sometimes they'll get back out, which is kind of weird. Okay, we'll have this uh, actually impounded in just a moment. And I'm hoping they don't take the entire trailer. Uh, let's see what happens here. Dispatch requesting a 51. is going to be a stolen vehicle. It's going to be a silver, bluish color Bobcat XL. 64 Queen Frank Mary 600. Mile marker 3. Uh, it's going to be heading southbound. Uh, it's going to be attached to a trailer, so see if he can get it maybe on a flatbed and detach the trailer. Dispatch, I'm okay. You can go ahead and cancel checks. Okay, here is the flatbed back over there. I'm interested to see what happens to this car. Let's see if he's able to get that over there. Okay, nice. Here's my flatbed. I did a demo video for that flatbed, guys. It's made by Officer Turbs. And I don't think I can tow this thing away, can I? Dispatch requesting a 51. It's going to be for a trailer. I don't know if you can get it on a flatbed or not. It's going to be a mile marker 3, US Route 13. Let's see if I can tow this away. Oh, I think I can, guys. Flatbed. Assistance required. Yeah, a boat trailer. What? I never towed away a, uh, an actual trailer. What? Let's learn something new. So we had to have two flatbeds. Let's see if it actually goes on the trailer or the flatbed. Is it what? What? That is so cool. That's one thing I love about this game is finding something new. Check that out, guys. Very cool. But yeah, that's a good look at that uh, flatbed vehicle right there. Pretty nice. Look at that guy driving on rims. All right, come on in. Uh, we're going to do some charges on this guy real fast. Uh, let's see what we can charge him with. Dispatch, clear traffic. Uh, we're, we're okay now. Uh, you can go ahead and clear them off. Attention all units. Traffic control okay, for some reason I failed uh, kind of epically. I should have gotten his ID and then ran his, uh, ran his driver's license and all those other things. Uh, he had an arrest warrant for possession of an explosive device. That's a felony right there. So that's interesting. So he'll have to, he'll have to handle that for the court system. And he's also on probation. Interesting. I, I thought I, I did check his driver's license. Maybe I did. So uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, fill out the rush report real fast. Okay, possession of stolen vehicle. Possession of tramadol. Possession of MDMA ecstasy. Now you also had a felony possession of undetectable firearm, ceramic, 3D, or etc. So it's going to be a 3D model as well. It's a revolver. And we're going to submit those charges as well. i tell you what, let's get into the new Palado uh, Bay Sheriff's Office, guys, and check out the new cells. Let's see if we can do that real fast. We'll do a little bit of editing, and we'll get over there to the Sheriff's Station. Let's go. Okay, we're going to get over here to the Sheriff's Station, the brand new one here. 
and we're going to park in the back area. And I think I can take him in myself, but uh, I don't know if I can actually do that or not. But I know if I go in that, that circle right there, uh, he will get uh, teleported to a different yeah, department. So I'm kind of interested to see what happens here. All right, Deputy Joseph, good job today, by the way. All right, step on out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take a hold of him, okay? I wish I could tell Deputy Joseph to grab a hold of him. Okay, let's see if he'll actually go in here. I'm just kind of curious. You know, for more RP purposes. I had to grab a health pack as well. Because I'm here. Now, uh, Joseph may not follow me in here. Sometimes there's some pathway issues with this particular map mod. The DLC map mod, if you will. And uh, for some reason, it tends to do that. So, there's some pathway issues. So I'm curious to see what will happen here. And I'm just gonna have him, I'm just gonna say tell him to stay. So it's more for role play purposes that you would do this, but make sure that you do let him go. But make sure you, you do stay on that, okay? Because if you let him go, I think he'll probably walk out of you. There we go. You know what? I'm detecting a strong odor of alcohol in this guy. Hey, amigo. There's one thing I didn't. That's one thing I didn't take you for, man. Have you been drinking tonight? You reek of alcohol. Yeah, you do. You you want to do a breathalyzer? Let's do that, or I'll take you next door and we get you get your blood. We do a breathalyzer. Dispatch to Sam eighty one report. Dispatch, we're gonna be code four. Attention, all units. Code four, no further units required. Dispatch, show me 10-7. We're going to be at Plato Sheriff's Office uh, for about uh, 10 mic. Acknowledged, Sam, 81. Okay, let's do a breathalyzer. Okay, I'm going to have you blow into this device, okay? All right. Keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing. Stop. Thanks. Ah, oh, man. How are you still alive? 0.194%. Holy cow. Man, you are way over the legal limit. Uh, one other thing we can do too is let's do a drug swab just for the hell of it, right? All right, we're going to do a drug swab on you. Here's the drug swab. Swap his cheek. Thanks. Let's see if it comes back. Oh, yeah, it's negative. So he's going to, hey, you're, you're going to get an extra charge. DUI. Okay. That's an extra charge. Okay, we're going to do another charge for DUI. Let me pull that up real fast. And we'll hit him real fast with this. It is going to be right here. This is his first offense, if I'm not mistaken. Let me back it up real fast. Let me look him up real fast. I'm sure this is... Let's see. Uh, yeah, this will be his first offense. Uh, DUI, or we'll say... We'll say DUI, you know, first offense. DUI kind of covers, uh, you know, DWIs and other narcotics and things like that. So we'll hit him with that as well. He was driving pretty well for the most part. I mean, he, it didn't look like he was speeding too much or weaving too much. But anyway, he's going to stay in there because I told him to stay. All right. Think about your consequences. Okay. So we're going to go out here and uh, let's see here. Deputy Joseph, I think, is coming back over there. He's somewhere over there. There he is. All right, come on in, Deputy Joseph Kaikendal. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that name right. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the charges for today. Let's look at the court cases real fast. Here's the court cases, guys. So, Marion Asoff. I don't know how you pronounce that. So, he's got a lot of charges. Possession of MDMA, ecstasy, possession of tramadol, possession of stolen vehicle, possession of undetectable firearm 3D. And then also, this is another charge where he did uh, DUI because I smelled alcohol in his breath after I've already submitted this. I wish I can go back and amend this, but I can't. So we're going to do reveal outcome. I'm going to say eight years in prison. Eight years. Here we go. Two years. What? 
Two years in prison, guys. That's all he got on that. I'm so glad I charged him with the DUI as well. He got two years for the possession of MDMA, and everything else he got probation. He is already on probation. Man, the court system sucks out here. Okay, this is the DUI. Uh, I'm going to say, hell, the way the court system is, he may not have got anything. Three months, or probably just probation. No prison time. $831 fine, license suspended, which I think he might have already had something like that anyway. I probably failed to look at that. Anyway, that sucks. Okay. I'm sure you guys would agree with that. Let me know in the comments if you think that sucks. I think the charges of the outcome of that court case you must have OJ's lawyer or something like that. Here is a Daniel Makarov. Uh, resisting arrest, that son of a bitch, uh, ran all over the beach in possession of LSD. Uh, he might get a little bit of time on this one. I'm going to say one year. Two months. He got two months in prison for resisting arrest, which I'm glad he got something. And granted probation for LSD possession. What? That is crazy. All right, guys. Well, that'll go ahead and wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it for watching the first episode of 2022. And once again, make a comment down below. I'll do a, a random comment generator and to see who my next deputy is or a police officer or agent or, you know, who knows, detective, depending on what we're going to do next. Uh, thank you guys for watching and thank you to the patrons. You guys are super special to me. I thank you for all the support on the side. You guys are simply amazing. Uh, to join Patreon, you can look down below in the description and you get your name featured in every single video that I produce as well. And then also thank you to the YouTube members. You guys are awesome as well. We've been getting a lot of YouTube members, especially when we stream and whatnot. Uh, thank you guys so much for showing up to the streams. You guys are awesome as well. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you on the next patrol. Stay safe.